All right, in this video, let's take a look at the progress related components that Material UI has to offer. Progress indicators inform users about the status of ongoing processes such as loading an app, submitting a form, or saving updates. In MUI, we have linear and circular indicators, and each of them can either be indeterminate or determinate. The usage is pretty straightforward, so let's look at examples for each of them. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder. MUI progress.tsx Within the file, I'm going to create a new component. I'm going to import the stack component from material UI and replace the div tag with the same. I'll also add spacing is equal to 2. Now for a circular progress, we import the circular progress component. In the JSX, invoke it. Pretty simple, as you can see. Let's invoke this component in app component. And head to the browser. You can see the circular progress being displayed. By default, it is an indeterminate progress and hence will never stop spinning. One of the props you can specify is the color prop which again accepts a color from the predefined theme palette. Let's make a copy of the component and set the color prop to success. Take a look at the browser and we see a green colored circular progress. Finally, if you're comfortable showing the amount of progress, you can create a determinate progress. So circular progress, Variant is equal to determinant and we set value prop to 60. Take a look at the browser and the progress is fixed at 60%. The circular progress is a pretty simple component to use as you can see. On similar lines, MUI also provides a linear progress component. At the top, import linear progress, make a copy of the three circular progress components and change circular progress to linear progress. If we now head back to the browser, we see the same progress behavior but this time it is linear instead of being circular. We have primary indeterminate, which is the default, success indeterminate, and finally determinate with a value of 60%. The progress indicators can be used when you're making HTTP requests and the user needs to be aware of that background process. All right, for our last feedback component, let's take a look at the skeleton component in the next video. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.